Hi there, welcome to IT Wire TV. Today we're joined by Felix Bent, the Pazla Regional Manager of Sales for Asia Pacific. Thank you for joining us, Felix. Thank you for having me here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So I guess, Felix, let's get into it. I'm interested in knowing why Pazla commissioned Intuit Research to investigate sustainability practices and ESG. What What's that about? Can you tell me? Yeah. Um, yeah, we commissioned the Intuit Research to understand the current state of sustainability practices among businesses and especially um, focusing on the drivers and, and barriers deploying sustainable IT practices. We think that IT monitoring is crucial for, um, for the success of sustainable IT strategy, which is also paving the way you know, to um, digital transformation in various enterprises. And by monitoring the IT system and as well as the infrastructure, Organizations can yeah, in, enhance their energy efficiency to a certain extent, and um, due to that, they can reduce the, the carbon footprint. Okay, that's interesting. And what sort of organizations did you speak to, or did, sorry, did they speak to Intuit in mm. ANZ, um, and, and in what sort of sectors were they? Mm. Yeah, the, um, the, the research or the, the survey was um, among around 200 business decision makers from um, large businesses and um, the the revenue from these businesses were between 550 million to a 1 billion usd so in in this range and uh, the opinion was gathered uh, from senior senior uh, decision makers as across three uh, different sectors the first sector is manufacturing. The second sector is tech, um, telecom, and data centers. And the, the third section is um, essential services like um, public utilities, public trans transport, and uh, the healthcare. Okay, fantastic. Yes, yeah, so quite a spread there. So, and I guess in your research, what what have you, what has Pazla identified as the top priority for businesses in our region, in ANZ Australia, New Zealand at the moment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's um, quite interesting. So um, actually for uh, Australia and New Zealand, the top priority is um, innovation to drive growth, followed by an increase of efficiency and productivity. And the third uh, priority is improving the corporate responsibility. Okay, that's interesting. And, you know, um, I, I, I noticed that that differs from Asia now, our Southeast Asia neighbours, where we're located, who who said digital transformation. Why do you think the top priority here in ANZ differs from that of the Asian nations? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, a good question. Um, so, um, yeah, first of all, the the pandemic um, accelerated the digital transformation across uh, various markets and sectors. And enabled, uh, or yeah, the challenge enabled the businesses to grow uh, even in these difficult times. Times and uh, while digital transformation is the top priority for, as you said, for the uh, ASEAN market, business in Australia and in, in New Zealand uh, prioritize more, as I said, in in innovation to drive growth, yeah. and um, because this. Um, differentiate or the the difference between could be that there is a regional um, variation market dynamics or yeah unique challenges um, faced by these businesses in these different regions now that could be a factor hmm. no interesting and i guess given those priorities then um how did the research i guess what did the research find about how important sustainability is including esg practices to these ANZ organizations? Mm. Um, yeah, the um, the sustainability, um, in, including also the, the ESG, is um, among, of course, among the, the business priorities for a, a, um, as to Australia and New Zealand. However, yeah, um, the, the while digital transformation is, is uh, the top priority for um, ASEAN, 
businesses in Australia and New Zealand prioritize more on the other, as I mentioned, the other factors for this. Sure. Do you think ANZ businesses are planning to have sustainable IT strategies in the next mm. year? Is that mm, yeah? Um, yeah, um, here um, a remarkably uh, a remarkable ninety percent, um, I guess ni around ninety percent of the businesses have set their sights on sustainable IT strategy, and um, with a significant portion of them having already implemented a I IT a sustainable IT strategies. Yeah, among all these um, a, um, Australian New Zealand businesses. Yeah, great. Did your research identify that they have any barriers to doing that? Like, I guess, what's what's stopping them at the moment? Mm. Uh, yeah, um, the primary obstacles that businesses face when embracing the sustainable um, strategy or the, the sustainable IT strategy practices include... Um, a balance between the ESG metrics with growth targets. Yeah, that's that's one thing. The other thing is the cost of deployment of the uh, of the businesses. So bringing in the these um, or this is a, a barrier, let's say, yeah. and a lack of clarifying from from governing bodies. This is also a factor, and um, also a, a thing is that. The challenge of measuring the ROI. So, is it worth to spend money? And yeah, what is the ROI then at the end? And these are the the main things we discovered or uh, what's in the research. Yeah, no, interesting. And they're not definitely not uncommon barriers for many many significant projects. Just knowing how to quantify it and what you required and. Yeah, so no, that's interesting. What about, um, I mean, so I can definitely understand those barriers. What about the technical know-how and um, being able to plan and implement? Do, do you think the ANZ companies that the research covered had those capabilities, the technical ability to actually do it and mm. plan and implement? Do you think that was a barrier? Mm. To... Um, yeah, while um, or many businesses have um, the sustainable IT strategy on their radar, um, businesses feel that their top management yeah, have a lack of awareness and knowledge about sustainable IT strategy. This suggests a gap in understanding the value of sustainable IT strategy in achieving the, the overall sustainability and ESG goals. Yeah. yeah, no, I can understand if they don't under appreciate what it will bring, why make it a priority? I guess in your research and talking to other companies and organizations, I guess what have you found are the main drivers why companies would want to adopt sustainable frameworks? Mm. Um, yeah, the the top the top drivers for adopting um, the sustainability sustainability framework are um, first the the reputation um, follow following by the industry operation standard and the third is fulfilling to the regulatory framework and compliance yeah those are the main drivers okay well, they're good reasons so coming back then to Pazla so I suppose I mean Pazla commissioned this research for a reason I guess what does you know what can Pazla bring? to offer, um, you know, to help customers build a robust IT strategy, build the transformation strategy, build the sustainability framework? How does how can Pazla help companies do these things? Yeah, yeah of course, I, I could talk about uh, a lot of things for hours and hours, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to to a long story short, uh, yeah, what, what we think we, we can enable businesses to bring the, uh, to bridge the gap between digital transformation and sustainability. Because if you have the, the data and you make data-based decision, you know, it's it's better to, to have these and uh, then really you can drive your optimization. And for our understanding, a sustainable IT strategy 
backed by a comprehensive IT monitoring framework is essential for business operations. And we, we provide different solutions that can help businesses to reduce their energy consumption, then leads to carbon footprint and ex accelerate progress towards achieving their sustainable development, the overall sustainable development goal. Yeah, fantastic. And if people want to get in touch with Paisler, what is the easiest way to do that? Yeah, um, either way, you can go on our webpage, pesler.com, and um, there is um, um, a formula where you can just drop us a message and we can get in touch. Or as well, we have uh, re regional partners in Australia, New Zealand. So um, also there are a lot of uh, Pesler partners are located. And um, so we are supported by this. Yeah, fantastic. Well, that's been awesome, Felix. I appreciate you um, yeah, telling about the research and why, what we can do and why people struggle and how Pesla can help. That's fantastic. And I notice, um, you know, your nice background has the, the spelling of Pesla on your shirt as well. So that's good. So yeah. <laughs> we'll get that right. Uh, excellent. No, thank thank you. you for your time. Thank, thank you. you very thank much, you. David. Felix Bent, the Regional Manager for Sales for Asia Pacific. Thanks, Felix. Thank you, David.